In a major move, the FDA has banned the use of red dye number three in food, drinks, and even medications. This comes more than three decades after scientists first linked the dye to cancer in animals. Manufacturers using it in food have until January 2027 to change their products. And joining us live now is Dr. Natasha Mendez, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Broward Health Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Now, red dye number three already banned in several countries. In fact, when you look at our ingredient list compared to the same product in other countries, our lists always seem to be so much longer. Is the U.S. behind in the health game with all these additives? Good evening, Lauren. Yes, absolutely. The U.S. is actually very behind in banning all of these different additives. So today is a great day, a major milestone in the right direction. Specifically talking about red dye number three, it's been linked to cancer and even behavioral problems in kids such as decreased attention. Will these findings raise concerns with other dyes and additives that are put into our food? You mentioned we are behind the time, so to speak, on getting rid of these. Is this just the beginning? Absolutely. This is just the first step. You know, a lot of the different countries around the world already have bans on other dyes like yellow five, yellow six, red 40, which has also been found um, to be linked with um, early onset colorectal cancer in young patients. So I think this is kind of the opening of Pandora's box with this very important topic in the foods that we eat. These studies and these findings about the potential links to cancer and even the behavioral issues in children, they're not new. These things have been around for a while. I myself as a mother made the decision a few years ago to try and be more selective, to look at those ingredients, to make sure those extra dyes weren't in the foods that my children were consuming. But why is it that this is just happening now? Is there Are there any new findings? Are we just realizing that this could really be detrimental to our health? Yeah, I think it's very interesting because in the early 1990s, these um, dyes, in particular um, red dye number three, were actually banned from use in makeup, in particular in lipstick. And so it's interesting that it's now only almost three decades later that we're really seeing this push and finally um, the FDA putting this uh, formal ban on the use of the of red dye number three in particular. Um, so I think it, it really is uh, the first step in the right direction. I think it's very important that we keep an eye out. Um, as you mentioned, um, the um, companies have until two years from today, so January 15, 2027, to reformulate their products and come out with products that no longer contain these dyes. So even though the ban went into effect, you can still purchase within the next two years accidentally products with these dyes. So it's important to become familiar with how to read ingredient labels and to educate yourself on how these dyes may be being slipped into the foods you're eating or your children are eating under different names. Yeah, you may not even realize it. You think you're giving your child a medication to help them feel better, not knowing that those dyes, those potentially detrimental dyes are in there. So specifically, we're looking at some of those ingredient lists. It'll say it, right? Yellow five, red three. Like you could read it on these ingredient lists. It just takes that extra minute to actually look at it, right? Absolutely. Um, but again, as I mentioned, sometimes um, there may be there under different names. Like for example, red number three also goes by erythrocene. Hmm. Um, yellow five goes by tartrazine. Yellow six can be labeled as sunshine yellow. Wow. You know, so it's important that as individuals and as parents, we become familiar with the different um, terminology or names that companies can use for these different artificial coloring so that we can recognize them right away and avoid them as much as possible. Good advice there. We got to do our homework before we go to the grocery store next time. Dr. Mendez, thank you so much for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Good evening.